I am at Kobo Center in Detroit, where the people are celebrating the inauguration of Gretchen Whitmer, the 49th governor of Michigan. Michiganders have always been good at building things. I think it's time we get back to building bridges. Governor, I know Lansing is your home, but I hope Detroit is where your heart's going to be because we love you. The new governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer. All right, Detroit. All right, Michigan. I am so grateful to be here with you, and if you were there this morning, I hope you have thawed out by now. It was a little chilly, but we are from Michigan. We are not made from sugar. We are sweet, but we are tough, right? So I just want to thank you. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you, Mayor, for delivering, for being a partner to me, and I'm going to be a partner to you. We are going to do great things together for the people of this state because they have spoken. We have spoken. Historic numbers turned out because we want leadership that creates opportunity for every one of us, right? So enjoy this phenomenal band in this phenomenal place. Let's have some fun tonight and tomorrow. Let's roll up our sleeves and fix the damn roads. I love you. Thank you. How do you feel about Michigan's future with the, the new administration? Well, I'm very excited about it. I think uh, Gretchen Whitmer is going to be an outstanding governor. I've had the privilege of working with her in years past, and now that she's the governor, I look forward to working with her very closely uh, from my work in Washington, D.C., to right here in uh, Michigan and Lansing and Detroit. What do you think of the difference um, between her and the past? administration well I think she uh, made it very clear today in her speech uh, with her uh, inauguration that she's about bringing people together this country is so divided and certainly governor uh, Whitmer understands that we are only strong as a people when we are all united and uh, that will be her focus I'm looking forward to joining her in that effort because uh, it's just so important not just for the state of Michigan but for the United States as well as you stated right now the country are so divided we are by the parties so, and she said that she is the governor for the people, and she's the governor for everybody. Absolutely. You know, that's the thing, uh, and she was clear uh, that uh, she represents everybody, and I certainly take that uh, to Washington as a U.S. Senator from Michigan, too, is that you represent the entire state, folks who vote for you and the folks who don't vote for you. But uh, the bottom line is about making sure that everybody comes uh, together and we have to be uh, united. It's nice seeing you tonight at the inauguration ball for our new governor, Gretchen Whitmer. I'm very excited. Um, when I think about her being our leader, first of all, being inclusive. Secondly, understanding what government is because of her experience. It means so much. Her commitment to fix the roads, to make sure we have health care, to fight for education for all of our children. And so I'm very excited about her being able to be my governor. I'm very excited. You know, I think that, uh, I think Gretchen Whitmer is somebody who has incredible experience. Um, she's very good at relationships. She's very good at working across the aisle. And I think that her uh, ability to do that is gonna make a big difference. I think that we have some areas that we really need to grow. Uh, and some foundations that we need to build on. Um, but I think that she's going to help us do that. Uh, I certainly think in terms of infrastructure, fixing the damn roads, building out our bridges, hopefully bringing on mass transit, uh, I think an investment with that. And I think she certainly recognizes the very important relationship that Michigan enjoys with China. Uh, and I think that that's be uh, an area that she'll look to build on some of what's happened over the last number of years. 
How do you feel about Michigan's future with uh, Governor Whitmer? I'm very excited about both Garland Gilchrist and uh, Gretchen Whitmer being our executive branch with Dana uh, Nessel and, and Jocelyn Benson. I think they make a top tier that's very exciting for civil rights in Michigan and to make sure that we are a welcoming state for people of Asian background, Asian American background. I think it's really important because Michigan really needs immigrants to be economically successful. There is global Detroit, um, which really talks about the importance of immigrants to our economy. And I think that both Garland and Gretchen understand the need to be welcoming of all of us. I'm so happy that the governor has put her team together, a phenomenal team together, and I'm really optimistic about uh, the state of Michigan going forward. In fact, in the nonprofit world, um, the group that I represent, we're especially grateful for the team that's put together. So we wish her all the luck. I think that the future of Michigan is in very good hands with the new governor-elect. Wow, she's now the governor <laughs> with Governor Whitmer. Yes. I think uh, Governor Snyder had done a really good job, but now it's not time to take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. We need to fix the damn roads and do everything else that we need to do. We need to create more jobs. We need to grow the economy mm -hmm. and make sure that everyone is safe. And I think Governor Whitmer is on the right track. I think for immigrants and for the ethnic communities that there is a role within the Whitmer administration to be played. I think we're going to see her hire uh, more ethnic uh, within her administration and I think that she will pay attention to the ethnic communities. She did a good job during her campaign of reaching out to all the ethnic communities and I think she will continue to do that during her administration. We're excited about Governor Whitmer's new administration and we love the theme that she is building bridges. We think that this is the right time and the right theme. And I know she's working with Governor Snyder, so the transition's gone well. And she's made some great choices for the future, so we're looking forward to working with them. I know um, DTE is one of the biggest supporter, supporters of uh, all communities in Michigan. And uh, we're looking forward to your continued uh, support. Oh, thank you, Lisa. We are indeed a huge supporter of community in Michigan. We try very hard to be a force for good across the state of Michigan, and uh, that is something that we are proud of. All of our employees join in on this, so we're going to continue to keep working at it. Uh, Happy New Year. You know, I think uh, 2019 uh, has the promise of being a, a wonderful year, as long as we remember that we are strong when we are all together and united. And that's certainly my commitment, and I look forward to working with the community, because I know the entire community is focused on that as well. I want to say Happy New Year to the Asian Pacific community, and I, I want to say how important diversity is. And the Asian community just repeatedly, repeatedly makes so many contributions. They are intertwined into our economy, into our education, to our health care. And so as we say Michigan moves forward, the Asian community is a, a part of that. And one of the things I'm so proud of is that my district is a very strong place for diversity. And when we respect and be inclusive of diversity, we all win. Happy New Year and um, best of luck to everybody in 2019. Well, Happy New Year to everyone out there and let's make uh, 2019 the best year yet. Very happy 2019. We have a lot of exciting things happening um, that we will start on January 9th in the state legislature. But today, January 1st, is the beginning of the new era of leadership in Lansing. The 100th state legislature, the 49th uh, governor. We wish everyone who's watching this a very, very happy 2019. Gonji Fatai. I'm Andy Meisner, and I uh, wish you a very happy new year.